This is a short illustration of how the 2270 can be used for sound intensity mapping of a loudspeaker cabinet. The loudspeaker model we are going to assess is this two-speaker desktop unit. A series of measurements are made in a grid pattern using the type 2270 and sound intensity probe with the resultant number map used to generate sound intensity contours. So let's begin by defining our measurement grid. In this case we'll use a 4x4 grid. Next we photograph the speaker unit using the 2270's built-in camera and use this photograph as a background to our measurement grid. This will help us locate the probe correctly for each of the measurement positions as we'll see in a moment. Now we're ready to measure. The measurement procedure is quick and easy and requires positioning of the probe as shown for a short time at each of the grid measurement positions. Let's start at the bottom left hand corner position. The measurement appears to be OK with no overload or warnings, so now we simply store the measurement and move to the next grid position. Again we appear to have a good measurement. This process is repeated for each of the measurement positions until the grid has a full complement of 16 measurements. Our measurement grid is now complete, but we can see that there is a smiley icon in the top left grid position. Smileys are used in the 2270 as measurement quality indicators, and in this particular measurement we are warned that the dynamic capability is too low. Repeating the measurement with the sound intensity probe correctly orientated at 90 degrees to the measurement surface corrects the problem and ensures we have a good quality set of grid measurements for our contour map. With our measurement tasks completed, we now transfer our measurement data to PC and the Type 7752 noise source identification software where we can use an array of tools for sound intensity mapping. The intensity map shown here would be much easier to interpret if we could reference it to the speaker unit. So let's do exactly that by overlaying our intensity map onto a photograph of the loudspeaker cabinet. That's better. The intensity map shows an even distribution of broadband sound from the two speaker drivers and as such the unit is performing very well. We can also narrow the frequencies of interest to explore the contribution of the high frequency driver and the bass driver across the spectrum range. Here we can see the bass frequencies radiating from the lower section of the cabinet and here the higher frequencies from the upper section. Thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to this short illustration of the Type 2270 for sound intensity mapping.